Hello and welcome to this training video brought to you by Cori Group. In this video I'm going to show you how to stake out a point um, using Trimble Access. So once your um, receiver is set up it's automatically detected via Bluetooth. Uh, for example here you can see that I'm using RTK base so I have a base point here and my uh, accuracy is here on my RTK horizontal and vertical precisions. Um, once I'm connected, I can go into menu and stake out. You can see that I've points, lines, arcs, alignments in there. I actually can go into points and then it'll ask me what I want to select here um, on the right hand side here. If I just double tap add, I can add a point, I can remove points. So I can remove all these points here from the list. I can go to the closest point and I also can go in options. So stakeout method is to the point. You can have from a fixed point, from a start position, from the last point staked and relative to an azimuth. So I'm gonna go to the point, accept. And then what will ask me is I'm just gonna tab, double tap the screen so I can clear them all. So if I tapped on add, I can actually enter a single point name, select from a list, and then uh, key in points, all points, uh, select from a job. So I can go select from a list and give me all the available points from this drawn here. Also a quicker way of doing that is if I escape out of that and I'm just on my map screen, I can actually hold down on the plus and zoom in. So this is uh, me icon. Uh, I can do is a select on this point here. You'll see that as a surface point and a point. So I can click on that point. It tells me point one one uh, one five five seven six. So I can press OK there. I can actually review that point. So you can see there the point name, code, easting, northing, elevation, and what drawn it's on. So once that's selected, I can hit stakeout, and it brings me into the stakeout screen here. So you can see here, here's the stakeout. It'll just say go south, west, and then elevation, fill, design elevation. Uh, in there, I can actually drag this over and back if you wanted a bigger display. So you've half mapped screen and half a stakeout screen. So if I wanted to set this out real fine, I can actually move my rover. So you can actually move your rover over the point. Once you're within the point there, you'll see that the accuracy is two and four. Uh, to fill to get up to that vertical distance is 107. So if you're happy with that, you can hit measure. It'll measure the point, so you can give it a point name. I'm just going to call it SP stake point one. The code is going to be the name of the point. It's going to be a topo point. So it's going to measure for a number of seconds. As observe control point, if you're using the R12i, it'll disengage the IMU so you're directly uh, level over the point. And then wrap a point is a one second point. So we're going to go topo and I'm just going to go into my options. It's going to be point one, quality one and two, uh, time is two. So I'm going to increase that to three and then auto store that point. In there, you can change your tolerance as well and prompt for the attributes if you so wish. So I hit accept there. You see that my bub bubble is lovely and level. So I can set up over the point. If you're using the R12i, you can use the IMU. So if your pole isn't level or tilt, it'll still bring you using the tip uh, to the right point. And then once you hit measure, it measure that point. And then auto stores the point. So you see that it's 4 mil and 2 mil. And then I store Observation stored. that point. Once that's uh, done, I can uh, tap on another point. So I can tap on this one, hit stake out, move to that point. So I can move down along. So you can move all around till you get to the point. And then slightly get over to the top of the point. And you can see there, get in within tolerance, the point. 
0 and 1, hit measure, SP2, measure the point, and stake out the point. Store. Observation store. And you see then these points are in green. So if I go over here and do this point, stake out this point, Okay, just go find a Justin. Just say I'm out 100 mil this time. I couldn't get into it or something in the way. So I'm going to measure that. Still measure. And then it's telling me it's out 300 mil, 100 mil. I hit store. Observation stored. And you'll see that that point is now out of tolerance. Okay, so you'll have a flag there. Review that point. So you can see there's precisions, all your data there, but it's out by 300 mil. Okay, so you can actually review that point. I'll tell you there it was staked out or TK'd, and it's out of tolerance. Okay, so that's how you stake out a point. Thank you.